Trump is broken, by the way. He saw that DeSantis crushed by 20 percentage points. He saw that his picks did not do all that great in the election. And his brain is broken. Mm. Yeah. Uh, let me just tell you what's happening. Now, this is from Truth Social. This is from Truth. He says, now that the election in Florida is over and everything went quite well, shouldn't it be said that in 2020, I got 1.1 million more votes in Florida than Ron D got this year, 5.7 million to 4.6 million. Just asking. <laughs> yeah, that was in a, in a presidential election cycle. Yeah. There are always more votes in presidential election cycles. And the Florida governor is not decided during the presidential election <laughs> cycle. It's, it's every four years Yeah, in, in, during the midterms. No, oh, this, is, this is over. He's, I'm telling you, I'm watching this on Twitter, and these big, like, Trump people have started saying, Mm-mm. no, this is over. This is done. Because now he's going after the Santas. He gave him a stupid nickname. Ridiculous. Now he's going after Glenn Youngkin in Virginia. Mm. Calls him Young Kin. Sounds Chinese, doesn't it? God. Couldn't have won without me. I endorsed him. Did a very big Trump rally for him telephonically. Got MAGA to vote for him, or he couldn't have come close to winning, but he knows that and admits it, besides having a hard time with the Dems in Virginia, but he'll get it done. The... The narcissism, he just, woo, just like, woo, really went out there now. As Bobby McShay, this is his downfall, his ego. Mm -hmm. that's, that's typically what happens. Then he celebrates a Republican losing big time, big time, I believe in Nevada, uh, that maybe wasn't on his side with stuff, make America great again. Uh, Cernovich says celebrating losing what would have been a crucial Senate seat pickup, even as odds the GOP takes a majority fade away. He still, he doesn't care about that. Listen, Republicans listening right now, I know that there are some of you. He doesn't care. All he cares about is Donald Trump being the president and he will say anything to you that he can to win your vote and to get your money. He's just a narcissist. All right. He's trying to remind you how good he is at the moment. Here a little bit, he's going to start love bombing you again with stuff that you that's going to make you feel good, mm -hmm. like he's on your side again. And then, when you least expect it, he's going to screw you over. Now, he also said if CNN were smart, they'd open up a conservative network, only have me on, and it would be the most successful network in history. Fox only made it because of me. Twitter only made it because of me. And even Facebook is now in the tubes, having lost almost $90 billion in value since I was taken off. Now, that has nothing to do with the stock market going down at all. It's the since G. Donald Trump was mm. taken off. That's it. Yeah. Which was considered one of the biggest mistakes in business over the last two years. But by whom? <laughs> like, who Who said that? I'm sure, I'm sure it was. I agree that they shouldn't have taken you off. But. Because with Trump, <laughs> with Trump, there's mm -hmm. tens of millions of people who believe in MAGA and who want to make America great again. Same thing, by the way. And, <laughs> they believe in MAGA. And they want a MAGA. And they want a MAGA. Don't you want a MAGA? <laughs> they, they are MAGA and they want a MAGA. Put, and put America first. It doesn't stop here. Okay, hold on. <laughs> News Corp. This is another email. He's very, very busy with his email today. His MailChimp account is going to have to upgrade it here pretty soon. <laughs> News Corp, which is Fox, the Wall Street Journal, and the no longer great New York Post. That's because the New York Post has been making fun of Trump over the last few days. Mm -hmm. Is all in for Governor Ron DeSanctimonious. <laughs> An average Republican governor with great public relations, randomly capitalized, who didn't have to close up his state, but did unlike other Republican governors whose overall numbers for a Republican were just average, middle of the pack, including COVID, and who has the advantage of sunshine where people from badly run states up north, capitalized, oddly, would go no matter who the governor was, just like I did. <laughs> He's... Then he goes on this tirade. Ron came to me. In desperate shape in 2017, he was politically dead, dead, losing in a landslide 
to a very good agricultural commissioner, Adam Putnam, who was loaded up with cash and great poll numbers. Ron had low approval, bad polls, and no money, but he said, if I would endorse him, he could win. I didn't know Adam, so I said, let's give it a shot, Ron. When I endorsed him, that was him swinging the golf club after Mm -hmm. he said it. When I endorsed him, it was as though, to use a bad term, a nuclear weapon went off. Years later, they were the exact words that Adam Putnam used in describing Ron's endorsement. He said, I guess Adam Putnam said this. He said, I went from having it made with no competition to immediately getting absolutely clobbered after your endorsement. I then got Ron by the star of the Democrat Party, Andrew Gillum, who was later revealed to be a crackhead, (laughs) capitalized. This is a legal name, I guess. By having two massive rallies with tens of thousands of people at each one, I also fixed his campaign, which had completely fallen apart. I was all in for Ron, and he beat Gillum. But after the race, capitalized race, when votes were being stolen by the corrupt election process in Broward County, and Ron was going down 10,000 votes a day, along with the now Senator Rick Scott, I sent in the FBI and the U.S. attorneys, and the ballot theft immediately ended just prior to them running out of votes necessary to win. I stopped his election from being stolen. Jesus. Lord. (laughs) And now, Ron DeSanctimonious is playing games. The fake news asked him if he's going to run, if President Trump runs, and he says, I'm only focused on the governor's race. This is him playing games, by the way. Yeah. Playing games when they ask him if he's going to run is him saying, I'm focused on the governor's race. He, he wants him to engage right now, and Ron's winning by not engaging. Mm-hmm. So he's punching himself out right now. I'm not looking into the future. Well, in terms of loyalty and class, that really, that's really not the right answer. See, that, and that <laughs> tells you exactly what he's looking for. Yes. He, he wanted Ron to say, oh, no, I'm not going to run against Trump. I yeah. support Trump. Mm-hmm. But instead, he just k- kind of gave a political answer, like, I'm only focused on the governor. He's like, well, that's anti-loyal. <clears throat> You're not with me. You're against me. Who, for the love of God, it can't be Trump like typing on a computer and just hitting send this email to everyone. <laughs> who is on someone, his team? Someone that helps is reading this uh-huh. shit. Yeah, who is reading this and being like, "Yeah, that's fine, approved, send." Like who? Like how is this happening? I don't know. This is worse than I the don't tweets. Th- I didn't. I, I haven't seen any of this. I didn't realize it could be this bad. This- a media assault. Capitalized collusion when Fox News fought me to the end until I won, and then they couldn't have been nicer or more supportive. The Wall Street Journal loved low energy Jeb Bush and a succession of other people as they rapidly disappeared from sight, finally falling in line with me after I easily knocked them out one by one. We're in exactly the same position now. They will keep coming after us, MAGA, but ultimately, We will win, put America first, and make America great again. There you go. Jesus. Dude's off his rocker. Mm. Way worse than ever. Yeah. It's. This is going to be fun. 2024 (laughs) is going to be so fun. I don't think he's going to make it as far as people think. I don't think people are going to be cool with this. The fact that you don't think that the media isn't going to put this in the media. This is gold. I think that you the can't media make this up. I think the media, in order to hurt Trump, is going to have to defend Ron DeSantis and Glenn Youngkin and talk about how ridiculous this is. The Chinese guy. I think that's what they'll end up having to do. <laughs> the Chinese guy, Youngkin. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Youngkin Glenn. 